Good day. Here we are again on All Season Adventures. Uh, I know we got some heavy equipment in the background. Uh, winter time. Sometimes you got to go where the heavy equipment is because don't make your pack to go where you want to go. Something like that. I don't know. Anyhow, what do we have planned for today on All Season Adventures? Uh, well, I uh, got another, uh, like the thumbnail probably shows, uh, another little no excuse workout for you guys. Uh, then all you need is a little set of rubber bands and you can get a little bit of a workout done. You don't need no fancy gym. You don't need no fancy workout clothes. Uh, just need to think outside the box sometimes and just get her done. And after that, we got another cheese dog, kind of cheese dog recipe for you guys. This is, uh, save this one for when it comes time to cooking. Let me guys know what you guys think. I think it'll be A1. Still have, involves a cheese dog and a bun. And then we got a little bit of accessories. So I, I think it'll be a good one. And then if uh, I feel like it, might get a little bit of work done on the old time machine. Uh, right now, uh, since I put new door seals on the door, I had to remove the door locks. So let's see. Uh, gonna take a look, see if I can put the door locks back tonight. Might need a little bit more material. If so, then we'll save that to a later time. But anyhow, uh, time to go kind of get set up and get this workout on the go soon so because you know what i'm getting hungry and oh, a little tip try to eat within an hour after your workout so therefore do a workout and then have our nice cheese dog meal so stay tuned my friends and hold on a second we'll right back cheers okay yeah, as mentioned earlier we got some resistance bands we're using for a workout today uh typically today's workout i do with dumbbells at home but guess what i'm not at home I'm not making excuses. I'm still getting a workout done. That's the, the way it is. You know, this is the definition of a no excuse workout, in my opinion, where you just make it happen somehow. So anyhow, what we got planned for today, you guys, we're gonna start off with some uh, dumbbell front side lat raise, but we'll do it with band. Then we're gonna do some supersets. We'll do some uh, dumbbell seated shoulder press. So seated lat, uh, rubber band presses, uh, superseted with some uh, resistant band figure eights. You, you'll see in the video. So uh, yeah, next after that one, we're gonna be following that with uh, another superset. Dumbbell seated bent over skier raises. And after that, we got some, uh, that superseted with some uh, dumbbell seated bent over reverse flies. And then we got a big uh, four superset. Uh, dumbbell seated behind the back raise, followed by reverse incline lat raise, followed by dumbbell lat raise, and then followed with uh, resistant band pulsing lat raises. So yeah, I'll write all that down, and uh, what drink of choice we got for today? You guys know, all season, I gotta have a drink of shine when I'm camping. Today we got some uh, more Nova Scotia stuff uh, from a Still Fire Distillery. Haven't tried this one before. White Molasses Moonshine. So anyhow, I got that mixed with my water. I prefer their dark molasses, but not too, too bad. It'll do. So anyhow, what I prefer to do. Oh yeah, yeah, one more little thing I wanna show you guys. Since we are kind of in a pit, as you guys can see, got my uh, target that I got from my uh, parents, mama and papa all season, I guess. Uh, so anyhow, I'm pretty sure it's an archery target. I'm not too sure how the crossbow bolts will work on it, but hey, what better way to find out than shoot some crossbow bolts? And you know what? If it goes through, hey, we got a nice backstop. So how safer can you get than that? So now, as I mentioned earlier, without further ado, let's pump some work out. Oh yeah, another little tip too. Nice to have multiple layers so that as you start sweating, can remove layers. And uh, if you start sweating, don't get, don't soak your clothes because then you might freeze. But hey, if I soak my clothes, uh, as it is kind of snowing here, at least I got the wood stove inside. So we'll get to find out if I can dry my clothes inside, which I should. So now, uh, I think this is the third or fourth time I say it. Time to pump some guns. Let's get her done. I think we'll go with some uh, 80s workout style music again. Let's hit it.
Whew. Okay, we got it done, everybody. Yeah, uh, not gonna lie. Like I say, I'm used to doing this with dumbbells, but uh, this is bad. Man. That worked pretty darn good. And plus, knowing that the higher you go, the more resistance you have. Such way the rubber band works. But yeah, you know, yeah, like I say, uh, yeah. Oh, sorry, I keep rotating arms there. My my shoulders are sore after that one. Got my uh, today. I got a medical done, and you know what? I am in peak condition. That uh, I'm in my mid mid almost my mid forties. I'm not quite forty three years old or so. Yeah, yeah, forty three years old. Uh, but yeah, uh, uh, especially right now and flu and freaking COVID season, everything there. They always say get your needles, get your needles. My personal opinion. As long as you stay, eat healthy, uh, normal workout routine, keep your body healthy. Even if you catch anything, you'll conquer anything. So, uh, like that, stay positive, uh, stay healthy. Uh, gosh, switch shoulders. Yeah, having to switch all the shoulders every five seconds. I don't seem healthy right now, but it feels good. So, anyhow, what we're going to do now is uh, lob the wood stove, get that rocking, and uh, preheating for our cheese dog meal that I'm going to show you. It's, it's a good one. I think you'll enjoy it. And... Uh, yeah, test out this crossbow target or archery target, see how she works for the crossbow, because like that, while we're cooking, might as well do something while we wait, so uh, anyhow, without further ado, let's go get set up and get her done. Okay, time to go check out how things turned out. I uh, had a kind of a feeling. Uh, okay, I can see we got no bolts. But luckily we had a nice backstop and they all stopped right behind there. So there you go. When you're ever, a little, little tip of advice. If you're not sure about your uh, targetry, make sure you have a nice backstop. Because you never know where the bolts or arrows are going to go. So it'll be a nice target for the bow whenever the bow comes out. Luckily I got one on top of the roof there that works pretty good for the crossbow and I got another one at home for a proper crossbow target. So anyhow, I think that's enough crossbow shooting for now. Uh, time to go cook our cheese dog meal. Okay, let me straighten this air out a bit. There we go, come on, come on. Okay, there we go. Promise you guys a uh, cheese dog. As you tell, got some cheese dog. Got our uh, buns, hot dog buns. But what we got extra tonight is, it's like that. I think any bear, everybody can agree, bacon is amazing. So if you guys ever tried bacon on a cheese dog, please let me know And uh, down in the typewriter section there. I haven't tried it before, but not glad. I'm pretty darn anxious on trying it out. So we got our frying pan, just uh, preheating on the oven. We just talk, chuck it all at the same time. Gonna go with a couple of cheese dogs here first in the tray. Oh, a little bit more. There we go. There we go. Now, now you guys can see a bit more lighting for you guys. There you go. Quickly first, open up our baking tray. Chuck those bad boys in there. Probably take 15, 20 minutes or so. I don't know. Next, got four slices of bacon, so you can bet we're gonna use every single one of them. So, that... oh yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you... First time I cook uh, bacon on uh, the old uh, truck wood stove here. Oh yeah, this is a uh, uh, Jet Ball frying pan given to me for Miss All Season. Thanks again, Miss All Season. Hey, oh, listen to that bacon simmer, sizzle. So anyhow, I'm gonna let that cook for a while. And uh, we'll let you guys know how long it took roughly and how it turns out. So hold on a minute and stay tuned, my friends. Cheers. <sighs> Not sure about you guys, but I like to toast my buns for a few seconds. So I'm going to get that toasted and in a few seconds, she should be pretty much 
ready. So I'm anxious on a taste test. So hold on a second again, cause she is almost ready. This bacon is looking, check that out. Like that is so cooked, amazingly cooked bacon in my opinion. Okay, bring you in for a close up. Whew. Well, check that out. The quick picture there. Tell you that I think it's going to be amazing. Only one way to find out. Mmm, not gonna lie, that is pretty darn good. It's uh. First time I've. Let me know if you put bacon on your hot dog or cheese dogs in the typewriter section. It's really my first time, and I can promise you guys it won't be my last. I think I'll probably try some relish and some mustard. Have all the fixing. Maybe Chicago style cheese dog with the bacon. I think it'll be good to go. Anyhow, I'm gonna wrap up this uh, cheese dogs and then I'll get back to you guys in a bit. Unfortunately, I know I talked about doing some housework. I was wanting to put a door lock. I forgot my chisels at home, so I guess that won't work very good. So maybe next time and uh, probably just relax tonight. So I'll get back to you guys in a bit. Cheers. There you go, in case you wonder what a uh, all season does every now and then when he's just camping, chilling in the back of his truck. I uh, just got some PlayStation, uh, which one do I have? Number three, yeah, that's right. Got PlayStation 3, I'll just play a little bit of that in the background here, something to do. So, uh, yeah, I guess I'm going to wrap it at night. I'll probably show you guys a little pan around the truck in the morning. And uh, send you guys off for a conclusion in the morning. So, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in a few seconds. Cheers. Okay, good morning everybody. I can say I actually had a pretty good sleep. Uh, yeah, outside it's only like 1 degrees outside and inside the back of the time machine it's like 12 degrees. Well, not too bad. Uh, gotta say, not a bad overall camping trip. Uh, got to uh, do a nice little no excuse workout with you guys. Uh, got to uh, awesome cheese dog with bacon. Recommend trying that out. Let me know in the typewriter section what you guys think. Then I uh, finished off with a little bit of PS3 uh, Grand Theft Auto. Nice to just relax, play some video games every now and then. Uh, like that, I tell my wife, uh, I, I feel every guy needs to get at least like one night out a week with the guys or whatever, whether they go watch a hockey game, watch football, whatever. I like to have my one night a week just to get away from everything, everything from civilization and just enjoy the quietness. So that's what I like to do with my night a week. So hope you guys have one night a week where you get to enjoy yourself. If so, write down what you like to do when you're one your personal day? I don't know. Anyhow, uh, again, thanks you guys all for watching. I appreciate it. And uh, time to wrap this up with a little driving out montage. So till next time, remember to live and cheers. Oh, wait a second. I almost forgot. Little uh, preview for next week's episode. Uh, I have uh, my old, my old uh, Ford Ranger Beaster truck. Some of my longtime followers might remember it from when I followed the channel. Still have it. Uh, it keeps making its returns uh, during the burnout day. But I actually do plan on selling it. This weekend I'm going to put an ad up and try to sell it. So uh, here's a little picture of it there. Maybe a picture there. picture there maybe of a uh, different place it's been. So anyhow, uh, yeah, next Thursday I'm hoping to do one final camping trip video with it. So that one I'll probably make a little uh, little tribute video to uh, Beast of Trucks. So stay tuned for that one, my friends. That'll be next week. Cheers.